Greetings everyone, my name is Kevin and today I'm going to do a video that I've been thinking about doing and I've been planning to do for months but never got around to and it's shelf check. So the thing about shelf check is that I'm going to check how diverse my bookshelves are and I'm very excited and nervous about this because for me personally, um, I focus more on having a diverse bookcase than buying diverse books. What I mean by that is I want to have a bigger mix of the books I own than to have a, one book with a diverse set of characters, for example. So I'd rather have books that are from different parts of the world, written from perspectives other than my own set and countries, around the world. So I put more emphasis on that than to read and own a lot of books that are diverse, but they're all set in the US or the UK, you know, something like that. So I'd rather have a lot of diverse books when you look at the bookshelf than to look at individual books, if that makes sense. So to help me, I have prompts in this little glass jar. I don't know how many books I have. Uh, I'm, I mean, I don't know how many prompts I have. And the plan to do this is I'm only going to look at the books I have read. So my unread books, I'm not going to count. I'm not going to look at. I'm only going to focus on the books I have read. I have counted the books that I have read so far and I have in total 171 read books. That is excluding entire series. I only count one book per series. So one series I count as one book. But if I count every individual book in a series, I have 239 books that I have read. If I don't count, if I exclude the books that I have multiple copies of, then I have 233 books in total. So that's kind of how it looks. So I have these shelves as well as two shelves over here that I will have a second camera focusing on. So before we start, we're going to do a little tour um, of the shelves that I'm going to focus on. So here are the shelves on my red big bookcase. I have this sorted according to color. Then it's this shelf. So those are all of the ones behind me, the big case. And here we have my other shelf. So up here we have my... Uh, mythology fairy tale and then my Shakespeare and here we have she uh, Star Trek and V for Vendetta and I am not counting any of these books on these two shelves and then we have my sci-fi shelf these books I am counting and then we have my mangas and graphic novels or mainly just manga and I haven't finished every single Tokyo Ghoul book so I am not counting that series but I'm counting all the other books on this shelf. And then we have my favorite series. So it's those. And because I have a Hunger Games in English and German, I am not counting the one of them. Um, I'm not counting the German one. I'm counting only the English one because it's the original one. Because it's in English. And also it's the same series. So these are the three shelves here that I will be looking at. So let's start with the first prompt. I'm doing this one and the first prompt is Asian author. Okay so counting every single book that I have by an Asian author. I'm not counting this one because it's part of a series. And I've already counted the first book in that series. Even though this is technically part of a series, I count it as 
separate books, like a series of standalones, like companion novels more, so I do count this as separate from The Bride Test. So, Kiss Quotient, Bride Test, two different books, standalones in a series, kind of. That is 42. I don't know if it was okay for me to count mangas, but I, I mean, of course I should count the mangas that I have. And this is when it was good of me to not count every single uh, volume in a series, every single book in a series. Because if I could count every single book in a series, I would have a lot of books with a nation offer. So that was good, I think. I mean, I could do better, but I'm still satisfied with the result. Then it's time for the next prompt. And this time we have a Killian main character. So this is a main character who is a boy who likes other boys. So now let's check. This is technically part of a series together with Scorpio Heats Virgo, but they are standalones in the series. That is nine books on my manga series sci-fi shelves. So now we are looking at these shelves, how many Achillean books I have here. 16. So 16 plus 9 is 15. What? I am incredibly surprised as I am a queer person myself. So that surprises me that I only have 15 Achillean main character books. So I have more with Achillean characters, but minor characters, not a main character, which the prompt is for main character. So that was surprising. But I do think as well that I have more series with Achillean main characters. So if I would count every single series as like individual books, I would have a lot more than 15 because manga. So 15 Achillean books surprises me do go with this one and the prompt is middle eastern main character I am embarrassed. I only have nine books with a Middle Eastern main character out of every single book that I own. I am embarrassed. Then we move on to the next prompt. And this time we have, oh my god, a trans main character. For those of you who don't know, I am trans. So I'm going to look at how many books this trans person has read. Oh my god. I have a total of three books with a trans main character and one of those books has a trans female main character. So two out of three books as a trans guy 
main character and one has a trans woman main character. It's safe to say that I am not happy with that. Then it's time for the next prompt. So we're going with this one and it's, ooh, translated. So a translated book, a book that was originally not written in the language that I own it. I'm not counting the books that I have in two languages. Uh, the Hunger Games in English and in German, so I'm not counting the German books. And I am not counting the Swedish translation of The Lord of the Rings. This one is a little bit special because this is technically written in the original. Um, Hanan al Shaik wrote this in English, but this is kind of a translated Middle East and Arabian story. So I count this as a translated work, even though this by her is technically originally written in English, but the stories themselves are not originally written in English. So I do count it as translated. I count this as translated as well because the stories inside it are translated. No surprise, every single manga series that I had is translated. So that is 26 books in total. So 26 books out of the 171 books that I own, excluding every book in a series, apart from the first one. That is fine. It's not the best, but it's, you know, it's fine. Then we move on to the next prompt. And this time we have sapphic main characters. So meaning a main character who likes girls, a female main character who likes girls. I know that this is my book, but the main character is a lesbian, so I guess I count it. Twenty-eight books in total. I think that's more. If I like, if I remember the numbers correctly, that is a lot more than I had for a Killian character. And I am happy that I have more sapphic books. Then we're moving on to the next prompt, and this time we have. Indigenous. Okay, so any book that is indigenous in some way. Okay. I count Palestinians as indigenous. It has a lot of stories from different indigenous uh, tribes, I guess, or indigenous groups. So I don't have any book on that shelf that is indigenous, as far as I know. Um, but here I have a few. That I have in total eight books that are indigenous. Yeah, so eight indigenous books. I could be better at that. And moving on to the next prompt. Going with this one. And this time we have... Oh my god, no. Okay disabled main character. This is going to go quick, unfortunately. The 
difficult thing is I have multiple books with a disabled character that is one of the like focus characters but is not the main character so I can't count those books. Okay, as I said, that went quick. That is six books. I own six books with a disabled main character. I could do a lot better. Then we're doing the next prompt. We're making progress. So this time the prompt is, this is gonna take a long time. Then we do another prompt with this one. And we have black mean character. For some of these, I don't remember if they have black main characters. If I remember correctly, she's black, but I don't remember. I'm not counting it because I don't, I'm not sure. Eleven books in total. Yeah, I'm not proud of that. I know that I have more books here um, with black main characters, but still, I should do better. I should have more books than that. So then, moving on, this prompt is... Oh my god, this is going to be a lot. So, another prompt, and we're going with this one. And this prompt is... Middle Eastern offer, so another offer. Ten books in total are from Middle Eastern offers. And two of those offers, it's the same person. It's the head of Mafi. I have two books, one series and then a standalone. I mean, it's a part. Of, it's the first in a series, but I only have one book. So far. that's why I call it a standalone. And then we're on to the last prompt, and it's Latinx main character. Let's see how I'll do with this. I think the main character is Latinx. I know the author is Latinx. So I, I, if I remember correctly, the main character is also Latinx. There are two main characters in this. One of them was Middle Eastern, the other one, I think, is Latinx. So I'm counting it. Twelve books by Latinx off. Oh, I, I meant Latinx main character, not offer. Latinx main character. I think that was it. Well, I think so. Okay, so that was the shelf check. There were a few that I was very surprised by and that I feel like I could do a lot better at. And one of those is, of course, the black main character thing. And even though I do know that I have more books with black main characters, because as it is now, I am not proud of that. I feel like I can do a lot better. I am happy 
that I that there was none that I had less than five of. I think the lowest I had was eight, which is not perfect, it's not ideal. I'm aiming for over 10 at least for each of these categories. Yeah, but the one that I definitely want to focus on a little is reading more books by black authors with a black main character and I have books to help me do that. I didn't mention this, but I am currently reading some books for um, for Globe uh, for Maya TBR CTBR. So here I have four books that I haven't started yet. The other books I have either started or finished. And this one, Middle Eastern, main character Middle Eastern author. Didn't count it because I haven't read it, so it's one of the unread books. Then this one, Black character. And then this one, also Asian, main characters and Asian authors. And then this one, I don't know. So I am working on bettering that. It's not, to be honest, it's not something that I am consciously looking for. I'm not looking specifically to, I want to read more. I want to read more books by black authors. And I want to read more books from this country, stuff like that. I don't really go into books thinking about the author that much. I am focusing on the country or the culture or the genre. Like for example, I am very interested in, I mentioned this in my most recent Yeti BRZ video, I am very interested in the Korean peninsula, so North and South Korea I am very interested in, which is why I have multiple books dealing with North Korea, South Korea. Like I have a lot of books by South Korean authors set in South Korea, South Korean uh, main characters, North Korean books. I have three non-fiction books connected to Africa, uh, to Korea. Two are from North Korean perspectives, two women who fled North Korea. And then I have one who was an adoptee from Korea, who was adopted to North America, to the US, I think. So I am very interested in that. So. It's just natural that I get a lot of books by um, by Asian authors with Asian main characters because that is something that I'm interested in. So that kind of comes hand in hand, you know? And I usually, as much as I can, try to read books by an author with that ex experience. So I try to read trans stories by trans authors, which is there aren't that many of those. Um, a lot of trans stories are told by cis, meaning not trans, authors. So that is one thing. But something also that I feel like I need to get better at is reading outside of the US, as well as outside of the US and the UK. I have a reading challenge every year to read books that have nothing to do with the US or the UK. When it comes to those places, like their areas, I want to read more books from Ireland not just from the UK, but from Ireland. I want to read more books from Canada and Mexico. So I feel like I want to read more books from other places than the US and the UK, because I feel like those two countries are, you know, the main publishing countries, I guess you can say. That if you read books, especially popular books, they are most likely by, by American or British authors or set in the US or in the UK or, you know, like that. And that is something that I want to get better at, reading books that are not from the US, that are not set in the US, that are not British, that are not set in the UK, to read books by authors from other countries and books set in other countries, read fantasy books and sci-fi books that are translated into English, more of those kinds of books. I want to read more translated books, more books that were originally written in other languages from other cultures in the world, not just European, but books translated from Chinese, translated from Argentinian Spanish, translated from Swahili or, you know, Zulu, any other language and not, you know, from Europe even though I would love to read more books from translated from Romanian to Swedish or English or Finnish to English or Swedish, you know. I want to read more books translated from other parts of the world and not from so close to where I am. Anyways, that was a long um, after, like, what is it called? 
I don't want to say epilogue, that sounds so strange. But afterward, that was such a long conclusion, I guess you can say. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you want to do any of these prompts, just to do a quick shelf check yourself, I will have the prompts linked, not linked, but down below in the description box, you can see for yourself. And if you just want to look at your own shelves and see how you do it for these different prompts, you can. And if you want to do a video about it or anything, please tag me so that I can check it out. I'm very interested and intrigued to know how other people are doing with this. I think it's something that is important to talk about, not just diverse books, like recommending one book with a, di with a diverse cast, but to have a diverse bookshelf in total and not, you know, just individual books that are very diverse, but to have many books that may not be diverse in itself, but together they're very diverse. I hope that makes sense. But thank you so much for watching, have a nice day, and I will see you next time. Good reading. Bye!